Hi everyone, this is Kara from Hen and Chick Cakes and today I'm making a silk screen stencil with my Cricut and I wanted to show you what I use and how I assemble it. I have a silk screen kit here that I bought from Icing Images and it comes with everything you need to make a food safe silk screen easily with your electronic cutter whether you have a Cricut or a Silhouette. Uh, so this sheet here is the vinyl and that's the sheet you would actually be cutting. The kit actually comes with three of each sheet. So there's three vinyl, three silk, and three transfer tapes. But this one right here is the vinyl. The next sheet is the silk itself. And this sheet here is the transfer tape, which will hold the vinyl to the silk. And um, you can see that they're really big. They're 12 by 12 sheets. That's the way they come. And so I cut them down into six inch stencils. Um, so each 12 by 12 sheet is gonna give you four stencils. The kit actually comes with three vinyl, three silk screen, I'm sorry, three silks and three transfer tapes. So all in all, you get to make 12 six by six stencils um, with the kit, which is really great. Um, you of course don't have to make six inch, but I choose to make six inch because that is the kind that is, uh, that's the size, I'm sorry, that's going to fit into my stencil holder that I have. So I'm just using my paper cutter here. Uh, I have a new blade in it so that it can cut through the silk and everything. And then I'm attaching my vinyl to the cutting mat by lining it up in the corner and smoothing it out. So I've saved the logo I need to my desktop and now I'm opening Cricut Design Space and uploading the logo to a new project. I'm choosing moderately complex for my image type because it's a fairly simple image, but I do need to adjust it a little bit before I can cut with it. So I'm just clicking on the parts that I don't want cut by, um, you just click on them and it erases it. And then you continue and save it as a cut image. And then I'm inserting that image into my project. So after that, I'm just going to position it and click on make it and then reposition um, exactly where I want it on the stencil so that I know that it's right in the middle of my six inch square that I've cut. And once I'm ready, I'm just gonna click continue and go ahead and let it cut. So here is my cut vinyl. I don't want to peel it off yet or the center of the M will stay on the mat as it's not attached to the rest of the stencil. So the next step is weeding and I have my weeding tool from a Cricut here. Uh, you only want to weed the parts that you want your icing to go through. So for me, that's just the outline of the M. So I'm just peeling this outline off and I'm leaving the rest. All right. So I'm done weeding now, so um, I'm going to peel the back off of the transfer tape sheet and I'm going to lay it on the top of the vinyl and use a scraper to attach it really well. There's a sticky side and you're just going to peel that backing off, and lay it on your vinyl, smooth it out. So when I peel this off, the middle of the M is going to stay put because the transfer tape has made it all one piece. I'm using a lot of pressure with my scraper to make sure that the vinyl is stuck to the transfer tape and there aren't any portions that I think are going to peel apart when I take this off of the mat. Now I'm carefully peeling the vinyl and tape up off of the mat, trying to keep it together in one piece. If it looks like it might come up, uh, like right there I had a little bit of an issue, you just wanna peel from the other side. Go slowly and be careful and it should peel up 
all in one piece like that, leaving the backing of the vinyl on the mat. And you can see there's a sticky side now, and that's where we're going to put our silk. So I lay it down, sticky side up, lay the silk on that, smooth it out, and then I'm going to use my scraper again to make sure that it really adheres well to the whole piece. So here it is. The beauty of a silk screen is that the center is staying in place. It's all in one piece. A regular stencil can't do that. I do have some rough edges that I'm just going to trim off very carefully and only a little bit because I still want it to be the right size for my stencil holder. The last step, of course, is to peel off the transfer tape and now your icing would be able to go through the cut part where the silk is. So I wash it and dry it and then it's ready to use with my cookies. If you have any questions be sure to leave a comment below and I will try to answer you as quickly as I can. Thank you.